And MJ Cole was always one of the producers that would work with these styles of vocalists. So, being a fan of these remixes from the first time I heard MJ Cole's mix of Minus and Broken. Which was on Pierre Gary 2. They've been by on site every time. Always in the bag, this one. Second up, we've got the Large Joints in the City Blues records, which is on Nice and Right. Get back, gotta get back. It's on the way. Not sure the vocalist is on this one, as you say, but to anyone that doesn't know, Large Joints, Mike Mulrain, who's also DJ South Central, he's probably had 20 different aliases in the garage scene. And this one's super jazzy, nice two step number, what I would refer to as a midnight cut, something you'd hear on Pipe Radio between the hours of 10 and 12. And just a lovely, lovely, lovely track. I play this out not as often as I used to, but I used to play it out all the time. The most recent time I played this out was actually two Fridays ago when I played at Jim Beat in Peckham. On Fridays they do one deck, one selector, which is, as it says on the tin, one turntable or a remixer. And so it's wax on, wax off. Yeah, good track. Third up, we've got Baffled going on. <laughs> and dreams on Urban Beat Recordings. Both sides to this are absolutely killer. You got it going on. Vocals, I believe, by Colour Girl, who's famous obviously for Joyrider. Get a little out of my mind. My body's aching all the time. And I just can't seem to get it. 1996, four to the floor. Lovely chord work, clean up vocal, one man staple style. This one I picked up, I believe, around the same sort of time. It was 96 before I was buying records. So I would have had to have bought this second hand. I want to say it was probably another trip to tape exchange, not Hill, because between the ages of 18 and 22, I was working in the post room at Warner Brothers Records, which was around the corner. Number four, Goldie, believe. Classic drum track from 97 or 98. This 2001 Bump and Flex Club mix and MJ Cole dub mix. Focus by Diane Charmaine. This came out on Swing City Renegade. Absolutely rinsed in my steps. The Bump and Flex side, classic, classic two step groover. <laughs> Would have heard it in all the clubs back then, on all the compilations. The MJ Cole dub mix, very different. Very dark and moody intro with a sort of two step flavour. It doesn't drop, but it sort of opens up into a lovely 4 4 vocal track again. You can kind of see a theme here with my five picks on signature sounds. They're all very bumpy, very swingy, and covered in female vocal. Funny he's called Goldie because he does seem to have always had the Midas touch and everything he's touched has turned to gold to not be cheesy with the reference. He's a legend culturally in the UK scenes from art to music to film. So once in a lifetime you get these people from working class backgrounds, more so in the 80s and 90s that their creativity shines through everything and yeah Goldie's been one of them people. So, number five, and probably one of my favourites in the bunch. Locked On, the Locked On 109. Operating baffled, things are never quite the way they seem. And my choice on this is the Steve Gurley mix on the B side. Yeah. 
super funky, super writhing, super sexy. Colour Girl on the vocals again. Colour Girl, the most prolific singer in the garage scene from 96 to 2000. Such an amazing record. All the mixes on this are great. Artful Dodger dub mix is great and the stateside mix is good if you like more housey sound. And the new vocal original, obviously by Bray and Baffled. Baffled who I've mentioned once already and this is the Going On Dreams release on Urban Beat. Yeah. Locked on for me from 98 when I first started buying records till I bought the last ones. So to be honest, up until the streets, it was a complete buy on site label. You know, these covers, every time you saw one in the shop, you wouldn't even listen to it, you'd just buy it because you knew the quality control was there. It really captured the sound of the pirate radio stations at that time. You know, they had a compilation they put out, I believe around the same time, maybe around 98, called Sounds of the Pirates, which was a sort of DJ pack of double vinyl, which Still today for me stands as one of the best DJ Pack compilation releases. This is the label and for me still to this day stands as the greatest garage record label of all time. And that's without a question. Hi, Big One Man. That was my five signature sounds for Locked On. Hope you all have a great week and I'll see you in a nightclub soon.